All right, so this is a video on putting in a shower pan liner. That's a rubber shower pan liner. Now this is a shower floor repair. We didn't redo the, I didn't redo the whole shower, just the floor. Took up a couple of rows of tile on the wall. But I'm gonna show you, I don't have much room here, but I'm gonna show you how to install this thing, of course. That's it. I've got it fastened. You see, I've got it going up and I've got it fastened in pretty good. I've got a backer back there. I've got a backer here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure my bolts are up. And then I'm going to caulk this. Just put me a bead of caulk around there and I'll tell you what in a minute. Now that, I did that because I will push the liner down into that. It'll bed into that caulk. And if the drain ever backs up, if the drain ever backs up, it's not going to go under the liner. It won't go under the liner if you put caulking in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find I'm going to find my bolts. I'm going to find them bolts and just kind of slid in the top. See that? Just a slit. That way that rubber mat fits tight around that bolt. Now I'll bed that, uh, I'll bed the liner into that caulking real good. All right, see that? Now my drain's here, so when I cut my hole for my drain, it's not gonna be a circle. I'm gonna make an X. That way, that way the mat flaps down, and you'll see why. And I won't take it all the way to the edges of the drain. I'll leave about a quarter inch.
This has a threaded inside for the drying to fit, the, the cover to fit. And what this will do is just push down in there and it will push my, my liner like this. the liner I was pushed down see that now all I'll do is tighten these bolts all I'll do is tighten these bolts oh let's get it this is a small bathroom this is tough get it good and tight not just super tight but just good and tight this we'll just screw down in there and you just put this to whatever height you need it which I'll probably set it about an inch and I'll bring up this edge about two two and a half inches and then adjust this accordingly to whatever I think is a good flow probably an inch and a half an inch whatever anyway I gotta finish fastening this part up there and that'll be it Always lap that liner over. Always lap that liner over your threshold. Make sure, make sure that thing is over to here. Anyway, I'll, I'll pull the wrinkles out of this thing and that'll be it. And I'll do a video on uh, putting my mud in there. Anyway, that's it. And, and two, before I put my mud in there, I'll, I'll put some pebbles. Before I put my mud in there, I'll put, I'll put some pebbles in here. That way it'll keep these weep holes clear. Just in case any water ever gets into the pan, it'll keep the weep holes clear. Keep that mortar out of it. That's it. We'll see you.